Yo, what's up guys? Axe, I'm back with another video here today, and we doing another tier list. Now, last time, my tier list, you know, it wasn't that well received, but you know, we back for a new updated tier list, and I did listen to your comments for the last tier list, and I did make a couple errors, and I did change up my format. I added S+. Plus. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing I added. Uh, maybe I didn't have S- minus beforehand, but either way, these are probably the two I added, so... This is probably going to get controversial, so next, this time, listen to what I have to say when I put the, uh, when I rank these characters, because last time, people were like, oh, why'd you rank this character here, or why'd you rank this character here? Just listen to what I have to say, don't just skip to the end of the video, because then you will just get confused of why, why I put someone there, or why I put someone here. Alright, now, first, we gotta start it off, you know, good old tradition, Amber last, you know, that's how it always is, and I have Lisa joining her. I feel like these are the two worst characters in the game. Lisa is pretty much not even a good option. She's part of like the worst element because I honestly think Electro is the worst element. Um, Geo, uh, eh. if you have Zhongli, it's not the worst element. If you don't, eh, you can argue it is. Next, we can start with the Traveler. The Geo Traveler is interesting because to me, I feel like he's obviously better than the Wind Traveler mainly because Zhongli carries him because if Zhongli didn't exist the Geo Traveler would be almost useless and so I probably rank him B just because he gets carried hard by Zhongli and now Albedo was a very controversial one last time I had ranked him at I think A or B and everyone got mad at me I was like I think I'm pretty sure I ranked him at A and everyone was like oh why'd you rank him so low now that I know how good he is, because people told me about his elemental mastery and a couple extra stuff, I'm putting him A+. That's where I'm putting him. He's not going any higher. He's not being an S tier. He's he's not top tier like 5 star caliber. Uh, Barbara, I think I put her A. Uh, Barbara, you know, got a new skin, but Barbara is kind of, you know, a hydro element and not gonna lie, hydro are kind of down terrible. You know this uh, spiral abyss so it's kind of hard to make her even go farther but i'm not gonna like downgrade her just because the spiral abyss you know isn't the best for her um but you know next person is beto now i would have put beto uh b tier beforehand but i really i got her to like really high constellation and in some cases she is a tier if you have the right constellations and you know the, the enemy's actually fighting you and just not sitting there and you can actually use her counter she's a tier she's definitely a tier uh bennett you know i gotta give my first s plus tier here we all see the damage that people are able to do with bennett bennett is obviously a staple if you want to get those crazy numbers so of course bennett goes there shangyun fall from grace he's probably like one of the coolest characters in the game i think he looks like has one of the best designs but sadly Chanyun, you just keep on getting outclassed by every ice character in the game. Now, speaking of um, getting outclassed, I gotta talk about D Luke. Now, D Luke in the beginning of the game was one of the best characters in the game. I think he's still a really good character, especially in Spiral Abyss, but I'm gonna have to do it S tier. He does not compare to a Bennett. Now, the reason why is because, you know, as a DPS, People are starting to out damage him and even though he's a pyro element, you know, I can't rank him above people I'm gonna put in S plus or even put him at the same tier. So Diana, I give her A plus. Now Diana, a lot of people don't think Diana is that good, especially in my last video. These people believe Jean is better than her, but I honestly think Diana is the best healer. The reason why is because she does more than heal. She gives shields. She's an ice, you know, like ice healer, and you can never go wrong with ice healers. So I think she deserves to be A plus. She gives constant cryo, gives a shield. There's nothing more you can ask for. Now, official, I think she also goes in the A plus tier. You know, pretty much like a turret at this point. You know, especially with the buff of elemental mastery, where overload has become, you know, a better elemental reaction. Obviously, not the best, but you know. Official, she does what she does and she does really well. Now, Ganyu, Ganyu S plus here. We all know how broken Ganyu is, and we gotta admit, she is almost too broken. You can literally give her in the hands of anyone, and you know, 
they could win the game. They could beat Spyro Abyss. Who tell? S plus tier, it's pretty obvious. She's like, she's up there with Ganyu, and everyone knows that. Jean, now this comes my controversial topic. A, you know, just regular A. I'm not putting her A plus. You know, I don't think healers in this game are that very effective. Uh, of course, someone like a Diona is a different story because she does more than heal. And you could say Jean has her E, but I think her E is just like, it's a very meh skill. Like, it doesn't help her healing, so even though she has healing, you know, E doesn't do much. Now, Kaya, he's the one I have uh, very mixed opinions about. I think the constellations is honestly what makes him probably a A tier, or if you really build him well, an A plus tier. Now, Kaya is an interesting case because, like I said, you can either be like, B tier or A tier depending on your constellations and I seen people do S tier damage with Kaya but it's kind of hard I'm really going back and forth but I think I put him in B tier because getting a constellation for Kaya is almost impossible in this game not gonna lie I got him at C1 and that's you know a pretty good damage buff to him but either way uh, if you can the the thing that really holds Kaya back is his constellation and how hard it, it is to get. So next person is Kiching. Obviously A plus tier. Uh, not at the level of D Luke, but you know, still pretty good. So Klee is an interesting case. The reason why Klee is an interesting case is because Klee could either be put S plus tier or S tier. Now the reason why is because her normal attack damage is pyro and her heavy attack damage is pyro as well. So combine that, like, she can do crazy amount of damage, so you've probably seen some crazy amount of damage output from, like, crazy videos of her just doing a lot of damage against, you know, like, Cryo, because, you know, just can apply Melt pretty easily. So, so that's why Klee could either be put S plus tier or S tier, but I think she is S tier. Uh, there's some things that she lacks, she's kind of really hard to use, and it's kind of really clunky, in my opinion. Now, Wind Traveler, I put her C tier. C tier is probably the best option to put her. The reason why is because, you know, Animo, there's just like, it's usually a hit or miss for Animo. And I think the Geo is a better, you know, character than this Animo character when you just have Rasengan and she's not even good at hoarding because she only has her ults. So I think she belongs in C. Now, Mona, I think. It's probably the most overrated character in the game, and a lot of people didn't thought she was way better than I think she is, but I put her A tier. Now, I think Mona is a budget uh, Bennett, and I would even say that she's, like, besides, she has a taunt. Like, I agree, she has a taunt, but her being water, she can't be a DPS. Mona is just kind of, like, underwhelming in certain circumstances. She does have a good kit, like, she can has a lot of good utility. But, you know, Mona has to be A tier, you know, her design can carry her, but, you know, there's some cases, especially because she's Hydro, that she can kind of be useless. So, next person is Ning Wong. Now, Ning Wong, uh, I don't have to play with her, so I can't be the best person to tell you how she plays. So, most people say she's S A, I mean A tier, I was about to say S tier. Most people say she's A tier, so that's where I'm going to put her. Now, Noelle... I do have experience with this dual character, and I think she's C tier. Now, I don't think Noelle is as great as everyone thinks she is. If she's C0, uh, almost, she's almost pretty much useless. She's not a good DPS. All she has is her shield, because you're not going to be using your Q as a support. So, I honestly think she's kind of useless until she becomes a C6, which is pretty sad. For her to become a good DPS, she needs to be C6. So, that's why I'm putting her at C tier. Uh, Chi Chi. Chi Chi belongs in A tier, you know, probably the best healer in the game. Um, obviously, Diana just has a way better kit, but Chi Chi can has has the best heal in this game. She's like a better um, Barbara because she has the seals, she has the you know E. Like her whole kit is just made for healing, so she's just the best healer in the game. So next person up is Razor. Now Razor is undoubtedly the best free to play character in the game. Oh. DPS character in the game because you can argue that Bennett 
is a DPS character, but you know, he's more of a support and you can technically use him as a DPS and he'd probably do more damage with uh, as a DPS than Bennett because of his ult. But you know, he's probably the main DPS, you know, Razor is probably the best main DPS we have in this game. You know, sometimes when you get a C6, you know he can be he can be up there, he can be up here. But you know, standard Razor, A plus tier. Now, next up is Sucrose. Sucrose automatic A tier crazy amount of damage output you can get with uh, Sucrose. They're just like really crazy amount of damage you can do with Sucrose. The reason being, you know, Elemental Mastery, you can just give it to other people. A great support, great, you know, uh, hoarding, can hoard people. Uh, child, S tier. Uh, I'm a child main, but, you know, if child wasn't as fun and, you know, you know, his E is pretty good. He's a really fun burst DPS character to play, but, you know, if this was a Spiral Abyss tier list, uh, he might he might be here or even here at certain circumstances. But right now, just as an overall character, he is S tier. But Spiral Abyss is not helping his case of becoming, you know, even moving up here. With Spiral Abyss, you know, he's kind of you know kind of falling off right now. So next up is Venti. Now Venti automatic S plus tier just makes every single part of the game easier, especially Spiral Abyss. You can like clear enemies really easy with uh, Venti. You know, pretty you, do, you don't even really much. To, yeah, you don't really need to build them that much. You just need to give them energy recharge, some elemental mastery, and you're good. You're ready to just destroy Spiral Abyss. Uh, Xing Lang, um, B tier. You know, she's all right. You know, give her a crescent pint, and you know she'll do some damage. Uh, Zhao, I think she's a similar case to Klee, but a little bit better. Uh, I'm really indifferent on where to put him. Uh, the reason I'm putting him S tier, the reason I'm putting him S tier is because Zhao is probably one of the hardest characters to build. I'm not talking about artifacts, I'm talking about weapons. Spear users are like some of the hardest characters to even get weapons from because some of the best spears you either have to get from the battle pass or you have to get a 5 star spear from summoning. So that's why I put Zhao at S tier. If he was just like easier build, like if he was like a claymore, he'd be up here. Because building Zhao is already hard enough because you know, uh, you know, his E is not the best for him to get energy recharge. So you have to run uh, a battery like, you know, Sucrose to give him extra energy recharge. That's why he's already kind of powered to build. But having, you know, to get a hard weapon, like I built my Zhao and I had to get the, buy the battle pass to even get him a good weapon before I was using the prototype Anunus, I forgot what it was, but that wasn't the best of weapon, so I had to get the battle pass just so I can get him a good spear, which tells you a lot how hard it is to build Zhao. If it wasn't that hard to build Zhao, he'd be an S plus here, but for right now, he's an S tier. Xing Chu, now he's getting a devotion from last tier list. I ranked him pretty highly, I put him in the top tier, but now he is an S tier. Xing Chu has one, um, thing that's kind of really holding him back right now and that's spiral abyss now shing chu is the guy that most people you know consider like not the funnest character in the game so that doesn't really help him out he's more of a support and when you can't you can't support people in spiral abyss especially in some places like you know the abyss herald and the oceanid uh, characters he kind of falls off a little bit so i don't think he ranks in the s plus tier anymore well before I had him in top tier, which my top tier was S, but he belongs right here. I think that if, you know, Spiral Abyss doesn't have like Hydro characters all over the place, this be a different story, he'd obviously go up here, but since, you know, Spiral Abyss has been treating Hydro characters like garbage right now, uh, you know, this is probably the best place for him to rank. Now, next up is Jin Yan. Now, if you've seen one of my recent last videos, uh, you know that I built Jin Yan 70 and Galder level 80 weapon. Now, when I played her, kind of a disappointment, not gonna lie. I thought she was gonna do way more damage, she goes B tier. Uh, I had her C2 and she felt really underwhelming. Uh, I think she's better as a support. And next up is Zhongli, Zhang the Dong. Now, Zhongli is, how do I say this? Um, I believe it's the best character in the game. There's undoubtedly the best character in the game. The Geo class, I think, would be garbage and be the worst class of Zhongli didn't exist. Zhongli single-handedly carries the Jigo class and not being the worst character, worst class in the game. So I think Zhongli is the best character in the game and you could argue someone like Venti or Ganyu is 
but I honestly think Zhang Li is the best character in the game. Now, Rosaria, um, A tier, you know, she's good. Uh, you might argue she's A plus tier, but I think A tier is fine for her. Uh, Eula, now, I used to call her Ella, but apparently people don't like me when I call her uh, Ella, so apparently it's pronounced Eula. So, Eula, S plus tier. I put her recently, C0, she's great. Does great, crazy physical damage. Now, people might say, oh, physical damage falls off its spiral best. It doesn't. Uh, I made it, defeated the Abyss Herald with her. Well, I think I defeated the Abyss Herald, or it was Yao. Uh, either one of these two. She's good either way. Um, just crazy amount of damage. You can't go wrong with her. You know, she's really easy to build. She's really free to play friendly. And that's what makes her go to S plus here. Now, Yanfei, I haven't pulled her. I have no experience with her. But I asked my Discord, and, you know, they said she was at least A tier. So. I'm going off of other people's words, don't like attack the messenger, but that's where she's gonna rank. So this looks about it. Now I'll be back to rank this guy right here, and hopefully these guys when they come out, mainly Ayaka, mainly her, she looks cool, she kinda looks like Sasuke with her, you know, rope around her waist, but this is my tier list. Alright, that'll be it for the video, I hope you like this tier list, and let's hope that I don't trigger too many people with this tier list. I think I did a pretty good job with this tier list. Uh, I had actually a couple tiers, but letting you know guys, B tier and A tier are not bad tiers, okay? Just because there's three tiers ahead of them does not make A tier bad, okay? Letting you know, because every time, last video I put, you know, uh, let's say for example, uh, beta, well, Ning Wong in A tier and everyone's like, why'd you put her so low? She's A tier. That's not a bad tier, guys, okay? A tier or not a bad tier just because it has three tiers ahead of it does not make them bad characters. They're just not as good as the people above them. So that'll be it for the video. Accent signing off. Peace.